Good evening, and welcome to another one of my episodes of A Versus Day Keeps Islam Away. Today I want to speak to you about tolerance. Islam's tolerance of other religions. Um, I have had several discussions with people saying that Islam is extremely tolerant of other religions, and they sort of have a, a laissez-faire attitude. The first verse I'd like to go to, or actually, <clears throat> the first surah I'd like to go to, is surah number 109, The Unbelievers. And I'm going to read to you the entire surah. It's kind of short. <clears throat> Say, O unbelievers, I do not serve that which you serve, nor do you serve him whom I serve, nor am I going to serve that which you serve. Nor are you going to serve him whom I serve. You shall have your religion and I shall have my religion. Wow. No wonder they stuck this in the end. This is surah number 109 out of a total 114 uh, surah. This must be one of the last forgotten uh, <clears throat> verses, uh, surah, that apparently no one even pays attention to. Because honestly, if everyone had this mentality, there would be no problems right now. So, so yes, somebody did quote this to me the other day, saying that Islam is so tolerant. It says, you can be whatever religion you want, and I will be whatever religion I want. You serve someone else, I serve someone else, it's all good, man. For some reason, that's not the way it always works. I would like to go now to um, Al-Quran, chapter 3, ayah number 85, Surah Al-Amran. And whoever desires a religion other than Islam, it shall not be accepted from him. And in the hereafter, he shall be one of the losers. So, first, Allah is saying, if you believe in anything other than Islam, it's not even going to be accepted. And you're going to be a loser in the afterlife. And by loser, it doesn't really mean loser. It's more like, you know, like, you're going to be missing out, you're going, you're losing out on what all the believers are getting. You're missing out on the rivers of milk and honey and virgins and little boys and whatever else you get in Fardos. Alright, <clears throat> one other thing I want to go to relating to tolerance is the very first surah of the Qur'an, Surah Al-Fatiha, the opening. This is the most important surah in the entire Qur'an. Um, a devout Muslim, every Muslim, should recite this every single day before any prayer. He should recite this every day upon giving grace to God, he should recite this every day when performing wudu, uh, ablution. This a should technically be recited at a minimum of 16 or 17 times a day. So, definitely this should teach tolerance, right? Well, let's find out. But first, you know, I've received a lot of criticism saying that I am not being fair by reading the Qur'an in its non-original, unholy language that the Qur'an must be read in its original Arabic. So, just for this few of you out there, and this is kind of short surah, I will do this in Arabic. But first, I have, I have to get in gear. Alright, shall we begin? Bismillah. Oops, wrong towel.
Alright, that's much better. So, going on to Surat al Fatiha. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbul Alameen. Ar Rahman ar Rahim. Malik Yawm al Deen. Iyaka Nabad. Wa Iyaka Nasta'in. أهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين صدق الله العظيم There, said in Arabic. Happy? Now it's getting hot. Can I take this off now? So, one thing to take back from the surah is أهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. So now we're talking about saying keep us on the right path, the path of those whom thou hast bestowed favors, not the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought, nor of those who have gone astray. Who are those who have angered God? And who are those who are lost, who have gone astray? Men hum al maghdub alayhim wa men hum al dalim. As per hadith al tarmidi and hadith Abu Dawood. This is what they both say. When Adi bin Hatim asked the Prophet of God, he also was inquisitive. He wanted to know who are al maghdub alayhim and who are al dalim And this is what was narrated. I asked Allah's Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, about the statement of Allah. غير المغضوب عليهم Not the way of those who earned your anger Who are غير المغضوب عليهم He, صلى الله عليه وسلم, replied They are the Jews And I asked والضالين Those who have gone astray and he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, replied, The Christians, as they are the ones who have gone astray. So now I am completely confused. In Surah 109 it's saying, You know what? You do your own thing, I'll do my own thing. And then here, in the very first page of the Quran, in the, very, in the Fatiha, Akbar, uh, the most important, uh, most important surah there is. It talks about al maghdub alayhim, those who have earned God's anger, and al dalim those who are lost and have gone astray. That to me does not denote tolerance. That to me denotes superiority. I, my religion is better than yours. You have gone astray. And you? <laughs> you have earned God's anger. Does, it, does that sound like tolerance to you? Honestly, it really does not to me. That's all I have for today. Thank you for joining. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good night. Bye. I don't know how y'all seeing this. God damn it.